But yeah, I'll be doing a uh, badge point mostly run, which is that uh, I'm going to do my best to only use badge points. And there, there are badges that will bump my health, badges that will bump my FP. Uh, as I am forced to level those up, I will remove those badges. see what else am I gonna be doing there will come a point where I can't remove any I, I'm I level up anyway and I can't remove badges uh, at that point I'm going to say all right screw it so we're just gonna see how far I can get only leveling up badge points It is fun, actually. I did it with um, the first Paper Mario, and I was able to make it all the way to um, the flower place before I was forced to uh, level other things up. But I wound up clearing the game with very little health and very little flower points. It was it was challenging, it was fun and I want to say that uh, it was one of the times that I've had the most fun with Paper Mario recently. Although you can't really go wrong with Paper Mario in general. Except Sticker Star. St Sticker Star did pretty much everything wrong. It was a cute game on its own, but it wasn't, uh, it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Having all of your attacks be stickers, and if you run out of stickers, oh, you can't fight. The puzzles were good, except I got stuck on one because it was very unclear what I was supposed to do. I don't know. It just... I enjoyed it, but it was troublesome. Oh, right. Good, good. Very good. I gotta get used to the timing. I think that uh, in order to succeed at this, I'm going to have to perfect the perfect block again. Either that or stock up on a lot of items.
Yeah, items are gonna be my friend in this run, I think. I wonder if I can skip through this fast enough where the Piantas in the back there won't attack, won't, uh, melt too late. No, it's still playing out. All right. So I had to witness that mob hit before. Oh no, you're fine. I don't mind. PC health before anything else, really. That's okay. I'm, I'm not used to waking up this early in the morning, but if I want to... do things with the streaming, I need to get used to waking up at a certain time, start streaming, end at a certain time, because uh, from one of the panelists I visited at the last convention I went to, they made mention that the best thing to do for streaming is to set yourself a schedule. Because what good is streaming if no one knows when you're going to be on? Oh, man. That and they also mentioned that uh, constant communication is uh, important for a streamer, too. Unfortunately, that's going to be rather difficult for me at best, given the fact that I barely have anything to talk about, and I'm much more... I'm much better with the back and forth. Why am I even talking to you through chat? I'm just... Mm. This is why I set up the Discord channel. I'm an idiot. Just in case people... Okay, now I can talk to you through chat and through Discord as necessary. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. In desperate need of caffeine, I wish I drank coffee. Just too bitter for me. That I don't like the coffee aftertaste, or the taste of coffee in general. Yo, it's... What's up? <sighs> so how are you today? Uh, um... I, I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's about right. Uh, uh nah, uh... really gotten much so mm. last night I pretty much slept for like 10 hours or something 10 hours sounds lovely yeah uh, it's not if you're waking up every two hours that's fair I mean I, I did that I do that constantly so yeah Life of a person with fresh anxiety, etc. Yep. Although mine is my mattress. I really think mine's my mattress. Ooh. How old is your bed now? I don't remember. Who? Over 10. It's 
it the same one you've had since you were younger or something? It's the same one I've had since my house fire, and that was about 16 years ago, I think. Oh, dear. Think you're due for a new bed, mate? I would agree. Two bed beds are expensive. Quite. Uh, uh, what about, uh, credit? Yeah, I'm using my credit to, uh, buy food. I'm trying to keep my, oh, oh. yeah, I'm trying to keep my credit low. Or, I'm trying to keep what I put on my credit cards low. Right. It's easy to, easier to pay off if I don't have that much going on it. Makes sense. I'm not awake. Red. What better to wake you up than some video games, right? Right? You'd think. But unfortunately, I have a <laughs> feeling that uh, with as tired as I am, I'm going to make stupid mistakes. Nah. I get it. At least there's not too much thought that goes into the beginning of Paper Mario. Uh, this is, this is a thousand year door, right? Right. Yeah, you got it. At least not until I start doing... Ah, shit, I looked away. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, no, no, I was supposed to use the hammer. Uh. <laughs> See, it starts. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, forget the perfect card. I'm not going to be able to use it. I'm, I'm not coordinated enough anymore. Not until I get the badge for it. Oh yeah, this is the game where the minor Goomba can check and tell you everything. Yeah. Uh, did it have a system where you had to check uh, check an enemy multiple times to get everything, or is it just you do it once and you're one and done? Oh. I am, uh, a, I don't know if you, uh, I want to call it gluttonous or laziness, but uh, I eat at my desk where my keyboard is, so my keyboard tends to get a little dirty. So I took it apart and cleaned out the, uh, um, what do you call it? It has a little catch tray underneath that serves a, or it's basically a clear tray so that the LE, uh, the uh, LCD or LEDs underneath the keys like can show through but it also acts as a catch guard for crumbs and shit gotcha so I had to, so I took that I took the keyboard apart and cleaned that up. No, that's not oh. that's not laziness. That's just what's what's the word I'm looking for. Besides the fact that it's a necessity that you eat. I mean, yeah, but you think that most people at meal times would uh, get 
uh, gather their families and shit. You'd think, but sometimes time doesn't allow for that. Especially in today's day and age. <laughs> Honestly, it's very rare that my entire family sits down and eats a meal together now. We used to do it all the time. I don't know. I, I, I guess it's a curse and a blessing because I don't, I don't like socializing. Yeah, that's one way to look at it. I don't like uh, stepping away from whatever I'm doing to go sit at a table silent. Right. Because typical things I want to talk about, nobody else cares about. That's usually why I'm silent most of the time. Besides, I find the fact that uh, words are more powerful if you're not constantly saying them. True. Very. Words are weapons sharper than swords. Unless used too often, that doll is a spook. Precisely. All right, there's one piece of my keyboard done. Now to do the main piece. All right. And probably my best, too. Yeah. <laughs> whenever my, I'm, as well. Whenever I'm eating at my uh, desk, I try to make sure that my keyboard is either covered or in its little tray underneath the desk. Uh, I to, uh, what do you call it, um, the way my chair is and the way my desk sits, uh, me in the chair is too tall for the desk tray to be under the desk, otherwise I can't put my legs underneath my desk, Ooh. so I don't have the chair. Can you put, like, maybe a pillowcase over your keyboard when you're eating? <laughs> That's the problem I eat while I play games. Oh, you're one of those people. You're the reason Cheeto dust gets everywhere. Okay, no, I don't do the whole Doritos and Mountain Dew nonsense. <laughs> I didn't no. say Doritos, I said Cheeto dust. My point stays. <laughs> I, I, must, I don't like Cheetos, they're gross. I have to be in the mood for Cheetos, I don't like getting getting them stuck in my teeth. Uh, so there's a phenomenon where, uh, when you're younger, if you eat way too much of one thing, you get, get sick of it, and then later on in your adult life, you can't stand the taste of it anymore. Macaroni and Cheetos cheese for me. Was, yeah, Cheetos was one of those things. So I don't eat Cheetos. I don't like flaming hot Cheetos, but even then, I don't eat them too often. Where I just had the food right where I I have no idea what I just agreed to. Uh, I was trying to match me. Like a, it's a tutorial. Shit. Sounds like a license agreement to me. <laughs> Fuck it, and I don't care, yes. Yeah, pretty much. Have you ever actually read through one of those? Once. Yeah, so, uh, it's every conceivable way of saying, hey, if something happens, it's not our fault. Yeah. sound thrilled to be out this early. I'm not. Not in the least. Is there another reason you were 
you you have to be up this early, or is it just for stream? Just for streaming. Couldn't wake up like three hours later for it. Well, I could. I'm probably going to stream a little later today, maybe, or take a nap. But um, I gotta take Joshua to work around 11, so I figured that would be a great place to stop the stream, do a nice three-hour chunk. Ah, okay. I'm trying to limit my streams to three hours because anything more than that, no one would want to sit and watch that long. Anything less than that, what's the point of me even streaming? I mean, I guess for still trying to a feel that little work. Yeah, it's man. I need to start again. Yep, it's. I've learned that it's all about a schedule. I mean, Unfortunately, with my workplace, I can't really set out a schedule. Right. Most of my uh, work shifts are closing, so... Right. I mean, sometimes well, I go in uh, at 9, but... For me, I know if I'm going in, it's usually uh, 9 to 3. Unfortunately, I never know when I'm going in. Because mm. they... They don't... They're supposed to put out the schedule two weeks in advance. But they have a rule that it's put out a week in advance, and it's supposed to come out every Wednesday, or Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Right. And it rarely comes out before set. Mm. So, yeah. Fun time. I'm going the wrong way. Petal Meadows is down this way. Oh, man. But no, I'm slightly fortunate in the fact that the schedule for next week is usually put out uh, half a week in advance. Right. So it's usually out like Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. So, so what I'm trying to do is... Hey... Your mic cut out. Test. Am I back? 
Yeah, there you go. Okay, good. I I've learned that for some reason, I can't tell you why. The same problem before, I'm using the blue snowball again. Right. And it's just... My sound card or something just doesn't like the snowball. Do you have a, uh, is it an onboard sound card or is it just separate pieces? It is an in motherboard sound card. Um, I think it's been ages since I actually looked into my, in my computer. Did you buy a separate sound? No. Okay, then it's probably an on. Yeah. Uh, One day I need to build a better PC. That That's it. That's all there is to it. Because <laughs> I'm still using stock PCs. Oh. Uh, is it Intel or AMD? Uh, my processor is AMD. Hmm. Well, that's right. my video. But that's my video card. Oh, uh, uh, CPU and motherboard then. Well, okay. I'm using an Dell Inspiron. Oh, that's Intel. Okay. Um, is it a, a mini desktop or, or is it like standard an ATX? Sta uh, uh, st standard sure. ATX. Oh, okay. I have a motherboard and an i5. That's it. Right. Uh, I don't think I can help with any other people. No. Besides, uh, I've already looked into the PC, and the motherboard is shaped oddly, so it's not replaceable. Ah. Um. You could get a case, a, a, a new case, and keep everything but the board. I could. I'd rather get a, sep a separate case anyway. Yeah. Just start fresh, have enough room to work with. But, uh, um, an ATX mid or an ATX full would probably be the way to go then. Yep. Um, you could probably, building a new PC, you could keep your, your old, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hard drives and, uh, SSDs. Right. Uh, if you have any, uh, you could probably keep your power, uh, yeah, your power source and your, uh, what do you call it? Your CPU coolers, you could probably keep all that stuff. Most likely would still fit. The only things you really have to change, uh, if you're changing cases, would be the motherboard and the CPU. Right. See, it's not that I need... I don't think I need power, per se, because my PC is running just fine, for the most part. Right. What I do need is to find a way to not use as much CPU and probably increase my RAM again. Uh, how much RAM do you have? 12. Uh, uh, no, RAM is fine. You, you, nothing requires more than 8 gig to run. Even on Windows 10, you don't need... Uh, it's nice to have more made, but yeah. Uh, CPU probably. Uh, what CPU do you have? I couldn't tell you offhand, but I can tell you right now that just running uh, the Elgato and, or not Elgato, but streaming and Discord, I'm at forty-three percent CPU usage. Which isn't bad, but it, it gets anything higher than that, and I start dropping frames. Right. 
So there's a uh, Reddit thread that I'm heavily into mm -hmm. called Shitty PC Builds. That sounds hilarious. Oh, it is. And none of them are terrible either. They're actually really uh, in innovative. Um, the, the top post, or the first post, is basically a plexiglass build where they've set up shelves for uh, 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 anime statuettes and stuff. Um, okay. But some of some of the shittier ones are someone took duck and duct taped an entire all, all the PC parts to themselves. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> yeah, it, it's they, they get. Back. Um. Are Are you doing this some, on purpose for shitty builds or what? Some of them are joke builds. Yeah. It just doesn't uh, seem. I'm sorry. That's wrong. No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's one where they took a, uh, uh, a modern PC build and put it into an old, uh, PC tower, and it didn't fit, so they basically bent the case and duct taped it shut. No. <laughs> uh, someone stuck an entire PC into a taxidermy... Uh, I want to say, uh, what was it? <laughs> beaver, I think. So they stuffed a beaver. Yeah, yeah. it's a PC super. It, it was fun. Oh. Uh, See, this is also another reason that I'm streaming so early in the morning. I've noticed that everything seems to be running pretty clear on the stream, right? For the most part, yeah. Yeah, I've only dropped 4% of my frames entirely. As I mean, no one my... else in your house is up, right? That's exactly why. <laughs> it's better for my piece. It's better for my stream health. Uh, is the microwave still a problem? No, I am hardwired into the internet now. Ah, okay. I mean, I've gotten a small attenuation problem because I'm running a 50-foot cable. That's still better than the macro. Exactly. I figured, you know what, I'd probably be getting the exact same amount of uh, signal, but I don't have to worry about the microwave destroying my internet connection. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see... Oh, uh, there's another one where someone just couldn't afford the case mm -hmm. at the time they were buying all their parts. You so always buy the case their first. Entire piece. They just have all their pieces laying about, no. connected to each other. <laughs> I mean, well, cooling wouldn't be such a problem then. Oh no, it's uh, the, that was the, one of the uh, top comments is that none of these builds have a cooling issue. They <laughs> just look ridiculous. That's... that's... special. Uh-huh. But, um, basically the, uh... Description for the thread is, um, I saw shitty car mods and was like, Hmm, how come there isn't a shitty PC build? <laughs> uh, but, like, I look at shitty car mods and I'm not a car guy, but I c cringe at a lot of those. So far, the PC builds are just, that's, th these are fucking fun. Stupid. I, I mean, mean, seriously, a beaver. Yeah? Why? It's still funny. I don't, I don't, cr I don't cringe at it, and I don't know. That's just the thing. My, my biggest question is, why for some of these? Why not? That is the worst answer, and I hate it. <laughs> because I felt like it. Okay, great. Good job. Thanks. I, I mean, my PC tower isn't exactly big enough, so I don't have the side door 
attached to it. Well, that's understandable. Then you can keep it clean easier. Just take condensed air and spray it in there real quick. Yeah. That my, my room not very dusty. I rarely have a dust issue. I got a small dust issue because I'm not in here very often. Ah. Oh. Uh, nah, I like. Every time I have to go in and clean my grandmother's a PC, it's just like, oh, this is under a blank. Yep. My PC, even with the side door off, is just like, oh, there's a little hair in there. Might want to pick that out. Oh. I, okay. I've been completely lax in my uh, playing of Paper Mario. I don't remember if I get Koops later or if I get him now. Oh, there's that Otaku's house. I forgot about him. The last time I played or even had anything to do with this game was when Game Grumps played it. Right, but I don't even remember their playthrough of it. I usually use the Game Grumps as background noise. Yeah, exactly. I like listening to them be idiots. <laughs> That's about it. Exactly. Well, more specifically, Ryan... Uh, Ryan? Brain, please. Brain work. Aaron. Yes. <laughs> When Aaron decides to not read and just do what he wants to do. That's always fun. Especially when he doesn't read the tutorials. Uh, it, it's fun the first time, but like since it's every single game, it, it, it can get annoying. True. I'm gonna uh, go AFK. Well... Away from here so I can clean. I'll be right back. Alright, no worries. This is exactly why they give us the POW block. You can't damage them otherwise, and that teaches you about items. These guys, I'm supposed to lose two because I can't hurt them yet. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. So now that I've taken care of that, I can't get past them because I can't get close to them. Unless I was supposed to use a fire flower on them, I don't think I was. 
Oh, I'm starting to remember. This is the game where each of the uh, um, chapter items that you get have a different uh, finale if you use them in battle. I think. Uh, uh, you you collect stars in this game, right? The crystal stars? Yes, the crystal stars. Yeah, and if you use one of the crystal star powers, it does some... I mean, each one has a different one. The one I remember most specifically is the one where you smash the A button as m many as possible. <laughs> yeah, they've got some great abilities in here. Uh... I think the other one is uh, you have to press the right buttons that pop up. I don't know. This, in, in general. This game is a very... I did not mean to go through that. No. Shut up. Yeah, well, uh, I just... This is one of the... This is the best Paper Mario game. One was great. This one nailed everything. Uh, probably unpopular opinion, but the Wii one was pretty good. I liked Super Paper Mario. It was fun. But it struck me as odd because it didn't feel like a Paper Mario game. It felt like a normal Mario game. Right. Uh, I liked the 3D ability. That was actually used pretty well. It was, it was. I'll t and like I said, I said this earlier in the stream, Sticker Star was not a good Paper Mario game. I haven't played that. It... Okay, the puzzles are alright, but everything is a, is a sticker. So, right. let me put it to you this way, if you run out of stickers to attack, you can't attack. Okay. And granted, they give you stickers at the end of each battle. Some battles take more than the one or two you get at the end. Right. You have to use your stickers... Uh... Clever. And, uh... Sometimes that's not just... That's just not possible. Right. I don't need to save, this is just a quiz. Oh, did you watch E3 for Nintendo? No, but I... Uh, I heard a, a few, some of the news. Uh, Breath of the Wild... That looks interesting. Yes, yes it does. Banjo Kazooie. Oh yeah, I heard a lot of news about that. That's gonna be interesting. Are they, they doing? Are they doing what they did uh, when they re-released it for the Xbox 360 and doing it for multiple consoles, or is it just a switch? I don't know. I don't know any information about it. I just know that Banjo Kazooie was being is being released for Smash. Ah, and I am so excited for that. Uh, they also delayed Animal Crossing. Sorry, I'm yep. concentrating on my keyboard. No, that's fine. Yeah, they did delay Animal Crossing, but I'm okay with that to a point, given the fact that. It Everyone, I don't, don't be fo so focused on a game that you lose yourself to your health. Right. Uh, the way I look at it is, it, it's going to be a good game eventually, uh, but if it releases now, it's going to be a bad game forever. 
Right. So, I honestly, it, it's what. I'm I'm excited for the Animal Crossing because it's it's a town builder. Right. It, it's not a traditional Animal Crossing. It's got a little bit more to it. Yeah, I'm. It's like they took Pocket Camp and uh, Animal Crossing uh, for the consoles and just meshed them together properly. It, it, it seems like they're trying to do that with a lot of their games. Like uh, Pokemon Let's Go was Pokemon Red and Blue, but with Let's Go capture system or with Ghost capture system. Yep. Uh, Which I thought Animal was absolutely Cro fun. I, no, I liked it. It. Um, I was hoping for another core RPG. Uh, that it's what it, it, it was a nice placeholder to wait while uh, Sword and Shield was announced. Right. And it uh, uh, it allows for uh, new players to get interested. Yeah. Uh, oh, did you hear bad news about uh, Sword and? If you're, if you're gonna bring up the national decks, I don't care about it. Yeah. Really? Yeah, no, if you... Okay. If you look at, uh... Um... Sun and Moon, they didn't have a national decks either. They didn't? No. Everyone keeps to... Seems to be overlooking that. You didn't have... You can... You could bring well, other Pokemon in, yeah. but they didn't have a national dex, and that's what everyone's being pissy about, is not having a national Pokédex. Well, the way they uh, uh, explained it was that uh, there was no bringing Pokemon from other games. All the Pokemon in that game are the only Pokemon you get in that game. Right. Whereas Pokemon Moon, you had the uh, Pokébank, where you get... Uh, Pokemon from literally every game for it. Right. Now, see, I can understand why they did it, though. And um, this is this is my huge unpopular opinion. Well, I, I'm, I can understand it because you. They have a full world that they have to put onto the Switch, with lots of yeah. models and lots of graphics, for one. Well, it, is that what Sword and Shield is going to be? It's the a whole world. It's no, not not the whole world. I'm just saying they have a lot of. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's Breath of the Wild with uh, Pokemon. It's gonna be huge. Yeah. Um, I, I, it's, it's gonna be, like, most of Europe, from what I remember. Exactly. It is literally Breath of the uh, Wild and Pokemon, and do you really want them to animate over <laughs> 900 sprites just for Pokemon? Yeah, that, that um... From what I, I gathered about it, there was it was a little bit of uh, time constraint, as, as well as uh, some issues. Right. Um, so what they're going to end up doing is they're going to release... They're most likely going to release the core game, and then the national decks or uh, other stuff like that as add-on content. I'd be fine with that. Yeah, I, I'd be fine with that, but, like, if they just released the game and that was it, I'd be a little irritated. Because the point of Pokemon is to catch them. Right. To catch them all if they don't all exist. <laughs> Unless you're into the competitive side of, game, uh, of the game, then it's just the cheesiest build. Well, I'm into the competitive side very slightly. We've, 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 we've had this topic, uh, yeah. discussion. Yeah. We've had... We've had this discussion uh, several times. A competitive style fight we have. from the game. <laughs> um, Which neither of us can remember the outcome. Yeah. <laughs> you say I won, I say you won, and it's like, what? Who won? I don't know who was. I mean, yeah, considering neither of us were using uh, an OU build, I guess it doesn't matter. Right. Because that's the most popular competitive side. 
I don't like using OU build because I don't like the Pokemon that are usually in there. Well, the Pokemon in OU are the Pokemon that have the highest stat potential and the best move sets. That's why they're the most. Right. Uh, uh, there are b OU builds that use under you, and those builds are actually really good. They have to keep the underused Pokemon alive. Otherwise, the entire build fails. Looks at my guy. Like my Suicune build. <laughs> like, uh, uh, yeah, like the Suicune build. Yep. The entire point of Suicune is throw in Suicune, uh, use, uh, use, forget the moves. Tailwind. Regardless, there's a couple of moves that you throw out and then swap him out and, and throw in a different Pokemon to do the final blow. Right. I feel like I've kind of completely fallen out of Pokemon in general, though. I've kind of fallen out, but I just haven't had the opportunity to, to uh, work on my teams and anything recently. Right. Like, um, I bought Pokemon uh, pre-order. I got through, I think, like, the first island, and I haven't played it. Uh... Uh, Pokemon Let's Go, I think I got up to, like, Saffron City or something, and then I haven't played it in a while. If you make it to Fuchsia City, you can transfer your, uh, Pokemon from Go, uh, to Let's Go. Just be uh, cautious. That, that's a... Be cautious? Just be cautious. I transferred a, an Alolan Executor, and I threw out my arm trying to catch him. Oof. He's oh, tall! Do you, ha do you have to uh, catch the Pokemon that you transfer over? Yeah, which is good for grinding experience, honestly. Huh. Well, I, I, uh, that's another problem. I don't play Pokemon Go. Like, I have it installed, and I, uh, ha I'm, like, level 17. So, but it's... I, I don't go out enough to, <laughs> to warrant playing... The only reason I pretty much still play it is because my workplace has like three poke stops next to it and a gym. Ah. So at the end of my shift, I'd do a round and go to the gym. I hit the gym after work. Uh, I don't. I bet you don't go in. <laughs> no, it's it's a sign that happens to be a Pokemon gym, so it's like sure. Why not? <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, man. Checking stats so far. 6.2 dropped frames. That's, n that's brilliant, honestly. This is the best time to stream. Granted, everyone in the world is probably asleep. I'm not. Fair enough. No, it, the only people that are probably awake right now are some people in Europe, but it's during the week. So people are probably working. Right. Which I have, I've had several, uh, European viewers before, back when I was playing Final Fantasy VII. I still need to finish that. Oh, you haven't finished it yet? No, uh, spoiler alert, I got to the point where Eris dies, and that's about it. Ah. It broke my heart, I put it down, and then my controller broke. Oof. So I haven't been able to, it's on the PC, so I haven't been able to play it recently. I'd much, ah. I'd much rather have okay. the controller in hand for that than, uh... Yeah, Final Fantasy games are much better with controller. Yeah, keyboard controls just bother me. 
Unless have... you're playing Final Fantasy XIV, then go for the keyboard. No, absolutely, because that's online and it's built for the keyboard. Yeah. I mean, it was kind of built with consoles in mind because it did uh, release for PS3 and PS4. Right. No, there, there are so many games that I want to get my hands on right now. Like, uh, the next Persona game, Persona 5 Royal. I am so looking forward to that. And I, I, I could never get into Persona. That's fair. Uh, I tried the 3DS version of Persona 1. Uh, which I'm told this was the worst Persona game. It it was. I I have it on the like... PSP. It's not it's right. it's it's difficult at best. Well, no, like the 3DS version of Persona is just the worst. So it was probably bad to start with that one. And, and... My first one was Persona 3. That is honestly my favorite one, and it's amazingly good. Right. Uh, do you have a PS2? I do. You do? Yes. Uh, when do you work next? Um... Thursday night. Thursday night? I'm off Thursday, so how about I just drop by and bring my copy of Persona 3 for you? Uh, I, I really don't like bo uh, borrowing games because I have an issue with returning. Okay, that's fair enough. I tried. No, no like, don't, don't, don't worry about it, man. It's, <laughs> uh, it's nothing, nothing against you. Yeah, I know. It's, it's all good. But no, uh... Persona 3 is brilliant. Persona 4 is equally good. Persona 5 so far is labeled the best Persona. I, I did enjoy watching others play 5. Yes. If you want to... Uh, besides the fact I eventually want to stream Persona 3, but my... Um, My PS2 is making an electrical cracking sound. Right. So, I'm not using it until I get a new one. Just, you know, for safety. But... Because uh, otherwise I'd be streaming Persona 3 right now, or like any of my other PlayStation 2 games. Right. I have a friend who's been collecting PS1 and PS2 games, so it's the only reason I got into or got back into my PS2. Right. But uh, let's see. I've got Harvest Moon, a couple Guitar Heroes, Tony Hawk's Underground, all three Jack and Daxters, all three Sly Coopers. See, I have the PS remakes of Jack and Dax. Are they good? Uh, they're... Oh. Um, I mean... Jack and Dexter is much better with an analog stick, well, with two analogs, uh, and the PSP only has one, which is uh, irritating at best. Right. Uh. 
I've also got Sorry if I'm here. making up. No, you're fine. Um, I've also got all three Sly Coopers, Final Fantasy X and X-2. Uh, I hate that game so much. See, I, lo I love Ten. I don't like the voice acting, but I love Ten. Uh, I felt like that the main story plot, the whole uh, summoning uh, temples and all that, was just kind of side story, while the love story was the main. Uh, uh, it was. I'll be honest. It was. Yeah, and. Honestly, the summoning stuff was really interesting and like uh, a very, very much Final Fantasy. But the love story was just like, "Hey, look at me!" And I'm just not a fan. Right. Uh, I love the Sphere Grid, honestly. Yeah. I thought that was absolutely brilliant that you could essentially level up whatever the heck you wanted so long as you had uh, a little bit of experience and a, a basically a key to unlock it. Yeah. Tell you what, Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced and Advanced 2, I loved. I played the shit out of those. Uh, uh Advanced 2 was the one for the DS, right? Yes. I did not like that one. I did like Advanced, though. See, I liked Advanced 2. I logged, like, almost 300 hours in it. Gee, good. <laughs> uh, I... That's alright. Uh, Pokemon Emerald, I have 999 hours and 59 minutes because it doesn't log any more than that uh final fantasy tactics advance i have some 600 hours right in in the one save file not to mention how many times i've played through that they're just good games Absolutely fabulous games. Have you played the original Final Fantasy? No, I have not. I don't have... I'm trying to not emulate stuff, so I don't have access to it. Right. Uh, the original Final Fantasy Tactics is a PS1 game with PS2 compatibility. So... Well, then I need... Then again, I still need to get a PS2 again. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so whenever you, you manage uh, get around to replace that. Right. Alright, now I need to go rewash this because it couldn't get into the keys, so I had to pull out all the keys. Oh. Eh, it's whatever. It needed to be clean. Still. Oh. All right. I'm surprised I was able to make that jump. Well, works for me. Oh, man. Ugh. I need to wake up.
can't be up here yet. Shoot. And spiky ceiling time. With no real worry, uh, no real threat. Probably the only thing I hate about having long hair, the hair gets everywhere. I miss having hair. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> A man dying of thirst watching another man. Drown. Exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> I am so tired. I need to stop. Might I recommend a caffeinated... I have to go shopping. I don't have any right now. <laughs> it is unfortunate. It is quite unfortunate. Plus, the thing I have to a caffeinated beverage is coffee, and it honestly, coffee, I don't like the taste of it, and it, it just messes with me. Right. I'll be fine, I just have to power through another two hours. Ooh. Well, it'll be fine. Maybe one hour. And end of this chapter. I'll power through to the end of this chapter. How's that? I mean, it's you, not me, man. <laughs> I know it's me. I, I know. I'm just trying to pep myself up. It's not working. Oh, man. All right, now I get to figure out uh, what keys go where. Wherever you want. 
<laughs> wherever I want. No, I think uh, the actual keeps have specific ASCII codes that they return, so I can't just throw A in the like Z spot and say, yeah, that worked. Well, I mean, you could. You could just rebind it no. later. Rebind each and then for every individual key. And then relearn how to type. No thanks. <laughs> I'm just saying, you could do it. This sounds like, to be honest. <laughs> if you ever get bored. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Here, let's undo 20 years of, uh, 20 of everything you've learned. Get in. Why? I just realized I know enough about pretty much every game I've ever played to be dangerous, but not enough to be a speedrunner. You know, same, to be honest. <laughs> it's like, I'm not even paying a damn bit of attention to what I'm doing in this game, and I'm doing okay. Play like, fucking... Just with the amount of time played Sonic Adventure DX, I could probably play that game blindfolded and do okay. I don't know, they seem to program it blindfolded and they did okay. <laughs> you're, the sad thing is, is you're probably not wrong. <laughs> no, I love, I love Sonic DX. It's, it's a decent game, um, Okay, no, it's very bad, but because of nostalgia, I, 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 I adore the From, okay, taking the nostalgia glasses off and thinking about it, uh, objectively, the character mapping needed work to make sure that they weren't so... Floppy? No. I, I'm just imagining Sonic speaking and his mouth going all over the place. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the character uh, modeling needed a little bit of work. So, as with every other Sonic game ever made, it, it was rushed. The, it, the game wasn't put out as a complete product. Right. And they didn't have a, a DLC and updates to Exactly. I had fun with the game. I felt that even its bugs were challenges that were meant to be overcome. Especially when you're trying to fall when you're trying to not fall through a floor. Well, I'm looking at you, Lost World. That specific level. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Lost World was a bitch. Yeah, that 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 son that one level, an adventure on a Sonic storyline that was a pain in my ass. Yeah. Um.
So, the storyline made no sense. But, but it's Sonic, so I'll, I'll let that one slide. Uh, I think the only reason that the story didn't make too much sense was because they broke it up into different characters. Uh, well... It's the same story told six... Right. Unless you're looking at Amy's and Big's and uh, E-102's, because those are very personal stories. But Sonic and Tails' stories are literally the exact same story. Right, uh, you just get a little uh, bit after Sonic and a little bit before Sonic. Yeah. Uh, Knuckles is go find the Master Emeralds and then follow Sonic with whatever the hell he's Right. Uh, but, but the fishing was, was fucking god-awful. The fishing aspect was god-awful. It would have been better as a standalone game like it was supposed to be. Yeah. Um... I'm losing train I used to have like a bunch of shit about this game just memorized and then followed by but I love the game because I, I can pick it up in any way all the way for right uh yeah I don't know no I do still absolutely adore the game even though it's buggy as hell I will say that uh, digging with knuckles is a pain. Mashing A and B at the same time just does not work. Uh, that's actually the first. That game is the first time I ever saw the word simultaneously. Right. Uh. But not nah, for me. What I've always been good at the uh, press these two buttons at the same time and it's just like okay right but no I, I loved it I especially actually really enjoyed in director's cut the uh, the mission mode they put in the what? The mission mode? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you know what the mission mode unlocks when you do all of it? No. I didn't catch that. No, I don't, because I, I never finished all the missions. Oh. Uh, uh, so when you beat all of the missions, you get, uh, you unlock Metal Sonic and can do, uh, all of the stages, all of Sonic stages as Metal Sonic. Oh, so it's just cosmetic. No, it's not cosmetic. It. Do you remember how Metal Sonic played in Sonic Adventure 2 back? I've, I've played Sonic Adventure 2. Are you talking about in versus mode? Yes, in versus So... Metal Sonic, instead of running, he floats, but has the general speed of Shadow and Sonic. Right. And if you hold B, he has the uh, deflector shield. See, I don't see how that would be useful in Sonic Adventure DX. Um, it's... Some stage is very helpful. Uh, like any, uh, like the final boss, the, uh, where you're going up against the Eggman Egg, The Egg Viper? Thing. Because, technically, that is an attack, so it has an offensive and a defensive hitbox. So you jump and then hold B, and it will, as long as you're within the snake thing's hitboxes, it'll do damage to Oh, okay. Gotcha. So uh, in that one of my favorite 
Go ahead. I was about to say, in that aspect, it sounds like it would be very helpful. Quite. Um, one of my favorite things about that game was breaking as best as I could. <laughs> it's an easy game to break. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. There are some game-breaking bugs that are actually pretty hard to, to accomplish. Uh, I'm not talking about like sequence breaking or skipping parts of the stage. I'm talking about getting Amy into like knuckles stages. I'm going to have to watch some of these. Oh yeah, they are very interesting. Um, the biggest problem is that the stages. Uh, like the stage transitions, like uh, let's go to uh, Emerald Coast, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, about halfway through the stage, there's a spring that uh, puts you into a loading zone, which is a stage transition. If you try to go into that stage transition as a character that's not supposed to be there, uh, it, first of all, uh, when you sneak into the zone, it defaults to the first playable character that's allowed to go into that zone, which is most of the time Sonic. Right. And all of the stage transitions are, if you're playing as Sonic, go here. Else, uh... Else go to this screen. And no, no not, not go to this. It just, uh... What do I do? Oh. So, so they well, didn't bug check that. Oh, no. No, it didn't. Uh, so basically, uh, if you're Tails and Sonic's version of Emerald Coast, or Knuckles or Amy and Sonic's version of Emerald Coast, you get to that spring and you just kind of bounce there forever. Oh. You, you touch the transition zone and it's just like, I don't know where to put you. So you keep bouncing there. I see. That that's horrifying. Um <laughs> You could also see uh the entirety of uh background or the skybox for most stages doing that. And you could see how uh how fucked up they are. Hmm. I need to see these. Um. Yeah, they, they're, they're pretty fun. Come on, I don't want to be dizzy. Also, I need to yeah. get my... I need to practice these buttons. Right. I am doing no good when it comes to these uh, action commands. Are you using a... Uh, a new Nintendo GameCube controller, or are you using the OG? OG. Alrighty. That sounds fun. But I think it's one of the ones that I've had since my first GameCube, so it's well worn. <laughs> Let me put it to you this way the A button feels a little soft. See, I've only ever had issues with like, the Y button or the control stick. And the Z button. I have fucked up a Z button. But I've never had an issue with the A or the B button. The only problem I've ever had with a GameCube controller was the C stick got stuck. Really? Yeah, it was stuck in the downward position. Even if I reset the controller, like, you know, unplug it, plug it back in, etc., the C stick itself right. would still be stuck. 
Like it would be constantly sensing that it was being pushed down. Oh. Uh, that would be that there's either there's something on the sensor. Right. Or something physically wrong with the stick itself that the sensor is picking. Yeah. Breathe your fire, I don't care, fuck off. That sounded, uh... Should be dead during the next attack. Yep, I was right. So in approximately an hour and a half, I've cleared the first chapter. Overall, that's not bad for me personally. So, I use the left side of my keyboard so often that I almost know by heart everything from, like, uh, G, T, R, V, E, left, wow. by heart, but everything on the right side is just like, I don't know where the fuck this goes. <laughs> well, I mean, the WASD keys don't exist over there. If they did, you'd probably know. Do what? The WASD keys don't exist on the right-hand side. If they did exist on the right-hand side, <laughs> then you'd probably understand where everything is on that side. Right. I know where W A S D F Q E R Z X C is. Right? And then, like, obviously, shift tab, uh, caps lock. Like, the, that. I know. I, I know where all of that goes. Right. Right side. Uh, I know where the brackets go. And slash. And the semicolon. Right. But that's because it's programming. It's programming is also the reason I know Z, X, C, and V, because contr control. all of those are helpful. Absolutely. Hi, Moose. Go ahead, lay down. Please. Alright, I can't officially call the chapter cleared until I get through the Peach and Bowser segments. At least I don't want to call it cleared. Where would chapters begin and end? Would the Peach and Bowser segments be the epilogue or the prologue for each chapter? I think they're the... Because they have been... They're, they're, you don't play them as the first part of the story. You play them as the... Uh, in between chapters after the first chapter. Right. But it also gives you the information that you need to get to the next level, so that's why I'm considering that it may be the prologue. Fine, let's call them interims. Interims, perfect. So does that mean I can technically skip them when I'm streaming? <laughs> <laughs> no, because they are still part of the story. Sad face.
I forgot about the peach shower scene. Okay. Oh, yeah. Too hot for Twitch. I'm sorry. Don't ban me. Although I got away with playing Gal Gun, so I really don't think this, they would ban me for this. I mean, yeah, but the version of Gal Gun you played was probably the safe. So. Oh yeah, I'm not spending ninety nine dollars for the see through DLC. <laughs> I refuse to spend that much money on DLC. Uh, um, which system did you play? PS4. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Which, in turn, also doesn't make sense, because Sony is the big Japanese company. It's console everybody thinks of when they think of, like, Japanese gaming for Final Fantasy and all that stuff. But Nintendo get or is now getting some of the same games, they're in the, and they're like censorship. What's that? I've noticed that. I would never have pegged Nintendo to not give a shit about censorship for their family-friendly games. Splatoon, Smash Bros, Mario Party. They're obviously it's going to be like, nah. Don't put any of that in here. Right. With the but with the classic Ninten of... Nintendo innuendo. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, Bayonetta. Yeah. Like, take away the, uh, the action lines from her, some of her moves, and you could obviously tell clothes are doing exactly what they do in her game. Yeah. Which, by the way, play her real game on the Wii, and it's her game. No censorship. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to play it. Uh, I. Okay, I've got it's both on PC one. Now. Yeah, I've got both one and two. I've got the Wii U collector box thingy one, not the collector box, but the the one that had both discs huh? in it. All right. And I had gotten it when I was still with my ex, and she was kind of into games too. And I said, "All right, you know what? How about this? I won't play this game until you beat it, because you seem to be very interested in it." You know, trying to be that fair, that fair person, right? Right. She never beat it, and I don't want to pick it up because it was hers. But I really want to because it's Bayonetta. So I've never touched the game. Buy it on Switch, that way you don't have that problem. <laughs> I mean, I've still got the game here. It's just I've never touched it. Uh, I mean, they're worth. Uh, they're, they're really fun games. Yeah. Uh, they're by the same people who did uh, Devil May Cry. That's why I want to play it because I love Devil May Cry. My first Devil May Cry was Devil May Cry Three. That was a good one. Uh. I've only ever played four and one, I think. Four was alright. It wasn't necessarily... It it threw me off because it started off without Dante as, as the right. player character. Yeah. But I mean, like, it kind of explained a bit more of the universe than some of the the other oh absolutely I mean you eventually get to play as Dante anyway so yeah no, I, I want to get my hands on Devil May Cry 5 I hear it's pretty good did you know that Dante actually starred or not starred but made a cameo appearance in one of the Shin Megami games in what one of the Shin Megami games the people who made uh, Persona Really? Yes, he was in the PS2 version, or the PS2 game, Shin Megami Tensei's uh, uh, Nocturne? There's there's more to that title. I can't remember the name of the title. I can't remember the name.
the Devil Survivor Nocturne? No, Dev. Mmm. I'm going to look that up. And I'll close out the episode. The, uh. I'll close out on that because we just finished. Oh. So. Let me look that up right quick. Because I want to get that right. I also want to get a copy of that game because it's. It looks pretty fun, and I love the Shin Megami series. Alright, I am... Now, I'm entirely lost. Jeez. <laughs> on this keyboard. Oh no! Fisher. Find the key, find the key! Oh, how happy you'll be! <laughs> Alright. Come on, Internet. I know you're having trouble. I know you're doing a lot of stuff at once, but just... Oh no! It is just called Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. Or Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne. That's what it is. Alright, now to put... Entirely back. And yes, Dante is in it. Oh, joy. Alright, so... Thanks anybody and everybody who stopped by. Thank you, Theron, for joining me. This has been D-Res of Renegade Studios with...